If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. This woman cannot see beyond 40 centimeters, which of course is not a very far distance. And so we need to correct her ability to see objects that would extend beyond the 40 centimeter limit. In essence, we need to prescribe her lenses so that she can see objects that are located very far away. And we can assume that the object distance in that situation is going to be a very large number. In effect, we can call it infinity. Now, if we look at the thin lens equation and we plug infinity in for p, we would note that this term right here would actually go to zero since one divided by a very large number ends up being a very small result. So in effect, we can take out the one over p term. That leaves us with one over q on the right hand side. Now when she's wearing these lenses, and the objects are located very far away, the image of those objects are going to be located at her far point. Now, that means we can plug in the image distance, q, as being negative 40 centimeters. Note that in eyeglasses questions or contact lens questions, the image distances are always going to be negative values. So now we have one over focal length equaling one over negative 40. If we invert both sides of this equation, we would see that the focal length indeed is also negative 40 centimeters. Now the fact that the focal length turns out to be negative means that the lens required is a diverging lens. Diverging lenses have negative focal lengths. Converging lenses have positive focal lengths. So the answer to the first part of the question will be a diverging lens. And then for the other part of the question, to calculate the power, all we have to do is take one and divide it by the focal length. Just remember that when you do that, you have to use the unit of meters for the focal length. So we said that the focal length was negative 40 centimeters. That is equivalent to negative 0.40 meters. So as long as we do that adjustment, we can go ahead and plug in for the power. And when we compute that, we should get negative 2.5 and then the standard unit for power is diopters. So this would be the correct answer to the second part of the question. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. Remember, you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.